So I just mailed three orders on the self-service machine at the post office. Feels like it takes forever when you do that. <laughs> Although on a Saturday, I'm really glad it was there because some post offices do not have one of those machines. Now I'm headed to Lakes Park in Fort Myers. From there, I'm going to go to Fort Myers Beach kind of like just to say yeah I've been there because I'm in the vicinity then from there I'm gonna go down and check out Naples and I'm gonna go to Louder Milk Beach I think Naples is known to be a very exclusive expensive area like homes for 48 million sign me up <laughs> just kidding Hope you'll join me. Oh my gosh, Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. I've never seen a park that had a big sign like that. I wonder if there's an entrance fee. I sure hope not, because we won't be spending money to go into a lake, uh, into a park. Plenty of free parks everywhere. Let's see, parking fee required. All right, I'm thinking no, but maybe we'll just drive around and see what it looks like. How about that? Okay, we'll do that. It's very- In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. Yes, thank you, Google. We're just gonna drive around. I'm getting ready for some kind of event over there. Very pretty, I love those balloons. This is a beautiful park, but I'm not into paying a parking fee. Sorry, Florida. It's a first children's garden. How sweet is that? Put it on the bucket list for you and the Grand Sweet Peas. And let me clarify, if I was with the Grand Sweet Peas, or any bit of my family, I would pay the parking fee. I would not be cheap and just say, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> I'm just saying I am on a, basically, except for national parks, I'm on a free nomad journey here. I am saving money. Look how beautiful for a for land and a cabin. So we're not spending money at a park when there are hundreds if not thousands of parks that are free in the United States to park at and enjoy. This is beautiful. Definitely make a memory there. Lakes Park Station. Nice area. Beautiful red, white, and blue. First, so I decided to step outside my car for just a quick minute or two so that you could get a flavoring of how beautiful this is. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, a lovely place to have a birthday party, a shower, all of it, all of those wonderful special occasions, right? Oh, look. How fun to go biking, walking, the little carts. I love it, love it. Very cool wildlife you may see. This is absolutely stunning, beautiful Florida. Fort Myers. So now, beautiful walk, going to head over to the beach. So, oh, look at the walkway over there. Gotta love it, huh? Going our way. Beautiful. It's over there. One more thing before I leave. Beautiful. And another, looks like a water park over there too. Wow, so much fun. 
so much fun all in one place. Very nice. Lee County Lakes Park opened in 1984. Constructed for the people of Lee County by the Board of County Commissioners. It's beautiful. Look at that. Another first. The way they have this beautiful landmark here. Wow. All right. Time to go. I saw some people with their lawn chairs just hanging out by the water. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, guys, lots of flashbacks here. <laughs> Fort Myers Beach, Saturday. What made me think I could just like park anywhere and walk up on the beach? I have no clue. Oh my gosh, lots of flashbacks. Jungle Golf, the T-shirt factory, four for $10, the sandal factory. Oh, some of those chains that have been around forever. Beach parking, I can't even imagine. Bikes, yes, $15 a day beach parking. No, we're not doing that. Oh my gosh, December in Florida, Fort Myers. Hooters, what would a beach town be without Hooters? Okay, cigars. The Sea Gypsy Inn, yeah. Santa Claus over here. Okie dokie, there's Santa. Weekly rentals, Sun Palace vacations. Leaky Tiki barbecue. Eastern Island Beach Club, Tattoos, Palm Avenue, beautiful, beautiful high rises, Diamond Head Beach Resort, Century 21. It's all here, guys. And I do know what the ocean looks like, and I do know what the beach looks like, and I do enjoy walking on the beach. I love the beach but not in favor of $15 parking uh, just to hang out for a half an hour or an hour. Alrighty, maybe you and I can make a day of it one of these days. Some of my friends who live in areas like this, Beach Connection, sure. And Chapel Road, oh, Chapel Street. Palm trees, how cute, beautiful. Okay, Pelican Watch, Island House Beach Club. You get the gist. Now we're gonna head over to Naples. <laughs> Gulf Beach Road. Yes, I've been to the Gulf Coast now in Texas. And now I can say I drove through Fort Myers, although I'm not really experiencing Fort Myers, but it was fun to think about the memories of times when I've been to the beach. Caper Beach Club, awesome. Baptist Church. Oh my gosh, that reminds me of when I was little and we'd go to the beach and on Sundays we would find a church to go to. It was a bit intimidating as a little one to go to a church where you knew nobody. But now looking back, child of God, welcome. It was a very nice going to beach churches and saying we're visitors. We're from Pennsylvania. I love to go shopping at the beach you know and bike riding oh my gosh it's all so much fun when you're with somebody and then over here to the right yep this is the beach over there and the golf and there's lots of signs that say private private property no access to the beach 
I even thought about pulling off somewhere and like in a restaurant area and just walking over to the beach, but eh, not gonna do it. This is the kind of thing I would like to stay at for a while, you know? I'd like to visit for a while, not just go over there and say, oh, okay, Newton Beach Park, public beach parking. Just wanna see if there's an open area here where we can actually, there it is. Seaside Suite and Resort. See, I could probably pull in there and go check it out. But I'm thinking it's a no. mess. If you can even hear. Yeah. Leaving the beach. Driving through a very pristine neighborhood following Google Maps to Naples, to the beach. I'm in Naples. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at these lined streets with palm trees. One of my favorite things ever. I forget the name of the beach. I told it to you earlier or I mentioned it. So I'm not sure. Looking like so far Naples is not the commercial the Fort Myers Beach. We'll see in a minute. How pretty. The Banyan Club. Gulf Shore Boulevard. Woo. I think it's in front of me. Stunning. We are at Louder Milk Park. That was the name I forgot. So I'm gonna see what this is all about. So I just pulled in here, volleyball court, little play area for the children. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I believe that this is a paid parking with all these numbers here. Wow, reminds me of a miniature San Clemente. <laughs> San Clemente was one of my favorite beaches in California. Favorite places to sit and write and be with myself. Look how pretty. Now I'm gonna walk over here for just a minute because I don't wanna take any chances. It's not really well marked about the parking. But I can't imagine it just being free either. Maybe it's private. No, I don't think. Anyways, let's go see what we can see here. Oh, there's the pay station. Any of you play volleyball? Put in the comments. <laughs> I used to enjoy doing that for just a little bit of fun. Only did it a few times through the years, but it was fun. Was never any good at it. <laughs> How cute, the benches. The little walkway here, picnic tables. Sometimes I jerk around here because people are coming and I don't want to be just videoing them close. Oh my gosh, is this gorgeous? Yeah, could definitely sit here for the day. I've got a few hour drive back and work tomorrow. It's, I don't know, maybe three o'clock or so. Now, if it were 11 in the morning and I had a picnic lunch, then I would be inclined to stay here for the day. This is really pretty, pristine. All right, I got my feet in the sand. Haven't done that in a while. I don't think I've done that since like February <laughs> when I was in Texas at the Gulf Coast. February, March, something like that. Look at those cute little cabanas or whatever they are. I love the umbrellas. 
Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I could do this. This is not that commercial feeling. Got rave reviews on Google, that's how I found it. I just Googled beaches in Naples. And louder milk came up. I think it has like 5,000 reviews. Oh my gosh, it's perfect weather. It's like maybe 75. All right. So I'm gonna head on down the road and I do believe this is it for me for the day. Unless I show you a little, another part of the drive in Naples. So with that guys, oh my gosh, I love it here. No, I don't feel lonely here. I could just sit here all day, just like that little chair right there. I could just sit and watch people all day and enjoy myself. Love it, because it's not crowded. And it doesn't feel all vacation-y. Blessings in your day and joy in the journey.